Ball across, it's well cut out. I think it's by Sloggett. But that's promising stuff from Bohemians and once there's a bit more tempo from them tonight as they look again for the ball forward. That catches the win, but uh, Jordan Flores follows it through. He's onside, Flores lifts it to the back post, looking for Afalabi. Afalabi gets ahead to it, and that one's just just wide. Good start from Bohemians. Great intensity, great pressure from the press to uh, the quick adaption from the throw-in. Um, Afalabi does really well, gets shot across goal. And then continued second phase of play. Once again, ball clipped into the box. Flores arriving really late. So, it's going to be Flores, left-footed, catches it low, comes off Afalabi, breaks to him, and it's a free out. Off. Free out or off? Well, free the free hand out. is up, the flag isn't up. I know you watched that, Paddy will come back to that as the ball is lifted over the top by Radkowski, and Afalabi's onto it, he's got two men to aim for the box, he looks for, oh, it breaks to James McManus, McManus right footed into the net! A goal for Bohemians, it ran through the legs of Adam McDonald, but the young man... Just fresh from his leaving start, he played on Monday night, picked up the pieces and calmly slotted it into the left-hand corner. Definitely something special about that number 14 jersey, but uh, yeah, <laughs> James, he captained the team on Monday night and uh, he was really good and started the game really, again, really well again tonight. He had to be sharp, Dan Kelly was bearing down on him, but he did. He, he, he's had to see his future elsewhere until then, wants to gain a season's worth of experience in the League of Ireland. As Yukoko skips in ahead of... Novak and scores and out of nothing it's one all the tactical switches whatever they were in that little little break work and the dog catch bows napping level the scores it's one all we'll see a replay now that fans down to our right are delighted it was just a moment's hesitancy from the from Rakowski and a lovely finish from the finish striker great, 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 great first touch from the Centre forward, but like that, Rakowski's caught him. He's caught him, been no man's land. No, he's not going to win. He's stumped to the ground, and uh, great finish. Both after working so hard in the first 20 minutes to get the the target man up front is Johnny Afalabi. He out muscles honestly. He's got a break with Dylan Connolly. He takes a touch, tries to find out oh, Afalabi. I wonder if he should have shot. It's cut out well by honestly. Dan Kelly came back from an offside position, but he wasn't the one who went for the header, so he's played back on, I think. Ball over the top, breaks for Adam McDonald. McDonald's one-on-one -on -one with Muller. Right touch. Lovely touch from McDonald. He's outside the box, left footy. Puts back onto his right, back onto his left. And it just, again, he did everything right, but maybe the shot just wasn't on his own terms. He was a little bit off balance. Yeah, great shift, great feet and balance. Knew well, knew well he wanted to get onto his left foot. We'll see it here again now. Well, Lee, he has a chance to get us back underway. McDade. We did so well in that attack, just came to nothing for Bowes, right foot across from Great Davies, and it's a free header for Mali, and it's 2-1 to the dog. Hell of a cross. Ghosted in onto the lovely ball from his, I think it was from his right back, we'll see it again, and 36 minutes in, the dog have turned the tables on Bowes from a free kick that you reckon wasn't a free kick, and Bowes are complaining about it down here. Uh, it's from the right-hand side. Lovely right foot of ball, but he goes in on Buckley's shoulder, and it's a free header. Archie Davis. It is Archie Davis. A lovely ball. He's under pressure from McDay, but maybe not enough at some stage. Oh, serious influx of players into the league now. Ball forward. Oh, it's a dangerous one. It just Mali's pass just evades everyone. You just like to see one of the centre backs going deal with that there, allowing it to bounce in the box. Just criminal for uh, for any centre back. Darren Brownlee is the name of the Scottish centre half of the duck. Signed during the week, an experienced player. Mali, this is the Knox best build up of the second half. Mali onto his right foot, good block by Radkowski, but that was dangerous. Here's Archie Davies. Archie Davies, right foot, another brilliant ball. Just to phase Lee Coco, and I think Huben thought he was fell by Novak just before that. Nothing doing, but just. Catch the replay here. Just as we said it, they just put a bit of impetus yeah. into it, and they were dangerous. Good block good, from good, good build up from Dundalk, to be fair. He moved the ball really well, but this boy, Archie Davies, has a hell of a delivery on him. But Dundalk just running into trouble, he had no support there, Doyle. Flores finds Afalabi in that area where he scored those two goals recently. Flores right foot a shot. Shepard's equal to it. Bowes just increasing the pressure a little bit. And that wasn't Paddy Cavanagh banging the wall. It was a door shutting behind it. <laughs> <laughs> it's that wind that they, that's swirling around Denny Park that is making life difficult for the players, I think. There's no space to run into it. He goes for McManus, the goal scorer for oh, Bowes. Lovely ball back towards Keith Buckley. And once again, Hayden Muller makes the intervention, it's a good ball out towards Tordek who drives it to the block defence, a nice ball across the box McManus across the box to John O'Sullivan 2-2 two -two here at Daly Road Park and it's John O'Sullivan the substitute who levels matters 
with nine minutes remaining. And a goal that we thought wasn't going to come. Paddy Kavanagh has arrived courtesy of John O'Sullivan at the back post. Yeah, good bit of pressure from Bohemians. Perrin. Was it James, James Mack who slides yes. across the box? And Off Perrin the back of Ward X yeah. ball in, in the first place. He's kept it alive in the box. Just slipped it across, yeah. He's stolen the march. Finds Lewis. Lewis looks right. And now a chance for both to counter because the knock of Reedy committed. Come and on. here comes James Clark. He's only got two men ahead of him. That's a good ball for Afalabi who's onside. Onto his left foot. Afalabi! 3 2 to Bohemians! Daily Mount Park erupts as Jonathan Afalabi finishes off the counter attack. Dundalk wide open for probably the first time in a night. Unbelievable bit of quality. Poco, to be fair, starts it off because he's picked out the little header. He hasn't just gone and headed it clear. He's actually picked out. Um, James, James Clark James and they Clark just can rematch stay on side. Yeah. Way to pass that bit of quality we were talking about from uh, in the final third and hell of a finish from Afalabi to be fair. The relief you, slots. You, you could see the relief from the Bowes bench and erupted after this finish from Afalabi. I remember in that one little defeat last year, we did the game, Paddy. He came on, it was one of his first games for the club. He hit the post. Yeah. But well, it's full time here at Dailyman Park. It's been an entertaining night, as it always is when Paddy Cavan is in town. <laughs> Bohemians 3, Dundalk 2. We hope you've enjoyed the night, and we'll see you again soon. <laughs>